you suck at. Nothing. Hey, what's up, Simone? Oh, hi, Chad. <clears throat> I went over to Miguel's house, and uh, his mom said he was over here with charity. So, uh, how those two doing after last night? Oh, great. You never believed they almost died at the ice pond. Uh, if you ask me, Miguel is back to his old self, but Charity's acting a little whacked. All right, well, who wouldn't be after coming so close to the big sleep, you know? You're right. They almost died. Can I talk to you a second, Simone? Excuse us. <clears throat> You're supposed to be giving me a little support here. I mean, the idea is to make everybody see that Charity is such a schizo. Forget about it, Kay. Just because you told Charity she's a hazard to Miguel's health isn't going to keep those two away from each other. I don't care what you say, Charity. I I'm not going anywhere. You've got to, Miguel. I'm a jinx to you. <sighs> that fall through the ice must have been awfully scary. It's not that, Dr. Russell. She seemed fine last night, and then this morning she started telling me she couldn't see me anymore. She thinks she's a jinx. Well, Miguel almost died last night trying to save me. And it's not like it hasn't happened before. I, I just, I worry that if he keeps hanging around me, he might really get hurt. That's not going to happen. Girls, do me a favor. Make Charity a cup of herbal tea. It might help calm her down. And believe me, Charity, you are not a jinx. And there's no way I'm going to stop seeing you. But I'm bad luck. No, honey. Sometimes things just happen. Not for any particular reason, they just happen. Yo, she ain't lying to you, Charity. Yo, it's true. I mean, check it, look. Yo, if I thought all the bad breaks in my life were caused by a bad karma or something like that, yo, I wouldn't be able to get out of bed in the mornings, you know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, really. Trust me. I trust her. I guess that makes sense. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I just have to think of another way to send Charity over the edge. How? Jimmy can't see what's going on, Tabitha. That darling girl, Kay, is doing my job for me, Timmy. What are you up to now? Every time Charity has a cup of tea, she sees something really morbid in it and freaks out. So once your mom sees her in action, She'll have to get her help and send her to an institution for the seriously whack. And you will inherit Miguel. Brilliant, no? Here you go, Charity. Thank you, Kay. Charity, what is it? You see something? Poor Charity. Oh, my fanny. If Kay drives Miguel away from charity, we won't need to finish him off. 